Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome to Everspace Encounters. This is the first fully fledged expansion for the game and it came out just yesterday. Now the guys over at Rockfish were kind enough to send me a seam key so I've been able to jump in and check it out. It comes with a whole bunch of new features and some of them really do change the flow of the game. The first thing you notice is the new ship. This is the Colonial Sentinel and well it's a little bit of a variation on the Interceptor. It has a far weaker hull but a much more powerful shield and also comes with a new weapon, the lightning gun. This is a pretty nice weapon, most effectively because it can arc to other enemies so you target the enemy in front of you and if other enemies are within range as you can see here the uh, impact will arc towards them and cause damage to them and sometimes this is so effective that you can destroy the other enemies before you actually destroy your main target and we see a bit of that right here mainly because the other targets are drones but just look at them popping before the main targets actually destroyed so a very nice weapon and other new weapons include corrosive missiles these will damage the hull and bypass the shield and you also get an EMP generator and you can use this to well, basically disable the enemies and they will become a drift in space and you'll be able to take them down in these few moments this is an area effect weapon so you can take down quite a few enemies in a single go but the main thing about encounters is the encounters so these are NPCs that you'll come across during your run, and there are a few of them. They all want different things, but they will all talk to you. Some will give you missions, and some will give you unlocks. But all of them will ask you to go and do something for them. Now I found this to be very enjoyable indeed, because it really does make the game come more alive. It means you've got more going on around you. It means there are other people to interact with, even though they are NPCs of course. So this guy here asked me to go and attack uh, an outlaw station nearby with the intent to try and loot what was inside of it. So this turned out to be a massive asteroid base no less, protected by a multitude of shield generators. You have to try and figure your way out to get inside of it and this involves destroying the shield generators surrounding the base. The base is well protected by enemy ships as well as a variety of turrets but once you've taken these down you can slowly pick off the shield generators and this will allow you to get inside but there's also a number of other shields further into the base. Of course you can do all this with your regular ship you won't lose any progress if you are on a current save although you would have to complete your current run through I believe before you will get any of these updates. I really did enjoy doing these runs though with the new ship it very much fits the playstyle of the Interceptor, albeit with a slight variation. So in this case, when you've completed the task set for you, the guy turns up quite happy with what you've done for him. He will take the loot, but leave some for you. There is unfortunately a rather annoying bug though, and that happens after any of the encounters. The camera seems to zoom right in toward the back of the ship, and this makes navigation difficult to almost impossible. This does rectify itself though as soon as you jump to the next zone. Hopefully it's something that Rockfish can fix very, very soon. The encounters are quite varied. As I was flying through space, I come across a pilot who was having trouble with enemies and I actually helped her out and she thanked me, left me some rewards and said I'd probably encounter her later on. There was also this alien here. This guy wanted me to research alien species, that is, alien organisms that reside within space. Now some of these are physically flying around within space, others are attached to objects within space. So again, this really does go a long way to giving extra life to the game, in both senses that there's extra life, living things out here, but also in the sense that there's more to do and more going on within any of the zones. The lightning gun and the corrosive missiles are not the only new weapons in the game. There are a total of six new primary and secondary weapons, although as this is only a first impressions video, I haven't had a chance to check them out just yet. There are also a bunch of new stations and functions in the game. This one here is a refueling station and I don't believe I've seen this before in the base game. And you can also get other upgrades from some of the encounters here. This guy for example you have to bring back a certain type of energy for him and he will give you a different type of upgrade that you will not have seen before. Talking of upgrades you can of course still upgrade the weapons and modules on your ship. This is the lightning gun and you can upgrade it for uh, anti-shield damage or hull damage. Same deal with the new shield, the shield is exclusive to the Sentinel I believe and it's quite a lot more powerful than the other shield. This of course can be enhanced to give you even further protection. There's also a new type of base or factory that are around. These are generally a GMB factories and they're quite large as you can see here. Now these serve as yet another upgrade path. 
All of these upgrades are limited to your current run or are limited to a certain time frames. And we can see that up here as we interact with the station, we can see we're given an option, a variety of options here for the upgrades that we actually want. So Everspace Encounters breathes a lot of new life into the game. I've always liked the game anyway, I think it's got a lot of replayability. But the new life that Encounters breathes into the game is very, very welcome. And I think it's certainly something that's going to keep me coming back to the game. It's actually priced $6.99 on Steam, so for what you get, the price is pretty darn good. I'll be taking a look at more of a space in the future. For now though, that brings us to an end of this video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.